Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm putting a berry twist on my classic cinnamon rolls recipe, which has been such a hit with you guys. I've had hundreds of five star reviews and all because of a secret ingredient that I'll be talking about today. I'm gonna show you guys how to make strawberries and cream cinnamon rolls. They're stuffed full of fresh strawberries. I'm gonna finish everything off with a creamy cream cheese icing. And these are perfect for Mother's Day, which is just around the corner. And really anytime you want some sweet, delicious cinnamon rolls. Into a large mixing bowl, I'm gonna pour in one cup of warm milk. I just heated it up in the microwave. And I'm gonna sprinkle in half a cup of white granulated sugar. I'm gonna sprinkle in two and a half teaspoons of dry active yeast, just over the top. And then I'm just gonna allow this to sit for about five minutes. After five minutes, you can see that the yeast is already starting to proof. I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk. And then I'm gonna start adding the rest of my ingredients. I'm gonna add in one third cup of melted butter. I have two large eggs at room temperature, and I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of salt. Give all this a quick whisk. And now I'm gonna start adding in my flour. So I've measured out four cups of all-purpose flour. Just drop in a little bit at a time and give it a whisk until it's well incorporated. And then once the dough starts to come together, I'll switch over to my spatula, and then eventually I'll have to switch over to my hands and start kneading the dough. I'm gonna sprinkle my work surface with a little bit of extra flour, and then I'm gonna turn out my dough onto my work surface. And the dough should be really nice and soft, and it's gonna be slightly sticky. You wanna knead the dough for a few minutes until it comes together nicely. It should be nice and smooth, and it should be really soft and still slightly sticky, so you'll just wanna work the dough with slightly floured hands. And now I'm gonna transfer my kneaded dough back into my mixing bowl. I'm gonna cover my bowl with a clean kitchen towel and I'm gonna set it into a warm corner of my kitchen and allow the dough to proof for about 60 minutes or until it's doubled up in size. My dough has proofed for one hour. I'm just gonna punch it down in the bowl and I'm gonna flour my work surface and then turn this dough out onto the work surface. I'm just gonna give it a quick knead for about 30 seconds. And now I'm gonna use a well-floured rolling pin to roll my dough out into a large rectangle. You'll want to roll the dough out into about a 13 by 20 inch rectangle. Next, I'm going to add on my butter. So I've melted one third cup of butter. I'm just going to pour that over the top and then use my hands to spread it to the edges. And this butter is just going to help keep all that sugar and spice in place. For my filling, I've measured out one cup of brown sugar. To that, I'm gonna add two and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. I know that sounds like a lot of cinnamon, but you want lots of flavor. And I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And I'm gonna sprinkle my cinnamon and sugar mixture over the top of my dough. And then just use your hands to press all this mixture into the dough so that it stays in place. And now it's time to add our star ingredient, strawberries. So I've chopped up a few pounds of strawberries. I'm just gonna spread them generously over all my dough. To keep my strawberries from getting too juicy while they're baking, I'm sprinkling them with some flour. It's just gonna help keep all that juice inside. And now for the fun part, it's time to roll up our cinnamon rolls. So I just start at one end, and you wanna tuck that dough over the top and gently roll everything together. Next, I'm gonna use a sharp knife and section my cinnamon rolls. So I just like to cut them in half. And half again. I've sprayed my glass dish with some baking spray so the cinnamon rolls don't stick to the bottom. And now all we have to do is transfer our rolls into the pan. I'm gonna cover my pan again with a clean kitchen towel and I'm gonna allow the rolls to proof again for another 45 minutes until they've doubled up in size. My cinnamon rolls have doubled up in size in the last 45 minutes and now they're ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and we'll come back to add our secret ingredient. 
My cinnamon rolls have baked for 10 minutes and now it's time for my secret ingredient. I'm gonna add 3 fourths cup of heavy cream or half and half over the top. You just wanna pour it over. I'm gonna place my cinnamon rolls back into the oven and finish baking them for another 15 to 20 minutes. And now for my cream cheese icing. So I've softened eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. I'm gonna add in a few tablespoons of heavy cream to make it extra creamy. About half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, which is gonna add lots of flavor. And I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of confectioner sugar. And now I'm gonna grab my whisk and mix this all together until it's nice and smooth. I just took my cinnamon rolls out of the oven and this is the perfect time to add that cream cheese icing. You wanna spread it on while they're still hot. Just take a spatula and smother each roll. And that's it guys for my strawberries and cream cinnamon rolls. And now for the biggest question I get asked all the time, can I make your cinnamon rolls ahead of time? Absolutely. So you'll want to prepare them according to recipe instructions. And then once you have your cinnamon rolls assembled in your pan, allow them to proof at room temperature for about 15 minutes and then into the refrigerator they go. And they'll last there for about two to three days. And then once you're ready to bake them, have your oven preheated to 330 degrees Fahrenheit and add your half and half or cream at the 15 minute mark and then bake them until they're golden delicious. And now it's time to dig in and enjoy my cinnamon rolls. And these have been smelling so good while they're baking in the oven. Mmm. These cinnamon rolls are simply divine and there's no other way to put it. They're just so moist and tender. They just melt into your mouth combined with those sweet strawberries, cinnamon sugar, that perfect creamy cream cheese icing. You cannot ask for a better cinnamon roll. If you guys enjoyed my original recipe, you have to give this one a try. It's so good. It's perfect for springtime. And if you're looking to make brunch for your mother on Mother's Day, she is going to love these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video recipe. And if you do make them, don't forget to share with me on Instagram. Just hashtag it with Tatiana's Everyday Food. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.